Uh, my name is Herman Petersheck. I'm the producer of Jumpgate. Welcome to NetDevil, and I'm going to give you a tour around and show you what we're working on these days. This is Matt Kenning. I like cookies. How, what is it like supporting all of us here at NetDevil? Uh, it's like w watching a bicycle go through a wood chipper. Um, so over here we have the Lego Universe project, which is, you know, denoted here by this giant Lego brick. Most of the great design ideas at NetDevil come from this piece of equipment right here, which is the little putting green that we have. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at putting, so I don't have very many good ideas. But yeah, oh yeah, so one of the things we did is we kind of spray painted all these walls, try to give it a creative atmosphere. And so the vast sea of resources over here are kind of dedicated to the Lego Universe project. And you can see like there's Lego stuff all over the place. Way off in the distance over there is the producer's cube, but he doesn't do any everything. He's never here. As usual in game companies, you need about 17,000 gallons of soda to keep people nice and caffeinated so they don't realize they're being overworked. Brian is shopping for drinks. Yeah. Fanta. Fanta. No, this is more of the uh, brick workshop that we have at NetDevil to support the LEGO Universe project. Uh, it, it contains a large variety of LEGO bricks, so the builders can build uh, physical models as well as virtual models. Because sometimes working with the connectivity, you need to understand how the bricks actually connect physically before you can translate it virtually. <laughs> Check it out, look at that. The, you know, LEGO should make cereal that is just Lego heads. Wouldn't that be awesome? And they could be marshmallow? <laughs> That's what I want. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write an email. Every Friday, I think, at lunch, we get like a snack tray. So we've got a bunch of cookies and stuff. And I'm going to take one before they all go away. Over here, we have some people really hard at work playing, looks like Castle, Castle Crashers, which isn't a game we made, but it's really, really fun. Research. Yeah, it's research. You can see who's who's good at StarCraft, because that's pretty important. <laughs> this is another random table of lots of really cool LEGO stuff. We should go check this out, actually, because this is kind of cool. This is actually, there's no one in here right now. This is a testing room. Right now there's some weird pho photography equipment, in. I'm not sure why, but the idea is that we can bring in people in here, and this is actually one-way glass, and we can kind of watch and record as they're playing games. And we do a lot of blind testing to see what people think of our games and stuff. And one of the things we did recently is kind of furnished it this way, because we found that before that it looked kind of like an interrogation chamber, which isn't really conducive for testing games. And so this is the other side of the creepy room. We can sit and watch people play. It's pretty fun. Um, in here is like the sound room, and there's a bunch of keyboards and stuff in here. Full drum set, everything. And there's actually like a bunch of people here that like to think they're in a band, and they come in here and annoy us about every week with their music. This is... Incredible. Look at that. Chernobyl? I don't know what it is. This is kind of ironic because here we are filming something that's being filmed. Oh cool, it's the dev team posing for a photograph. That's so convenient. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are the guys who are getting fired today. Sorry guys. Yeah, it's Kotaku. You'll be in Kotaku tonight. Everybody here goes and checks out Kotaku every day, so they'll all see it. It's going to be great. Normally they just make fun of me because I'm the only one that's ever on it. Here's a bunch more jump gate art. And then this is the, uh, this is the jump gate area where, you know, all the stuff gets made. That's Darren. He's the art director for jump gate. He's doing some cool 3D stuff. Now it's documented. I can't back out anymore. You see, like, it's kind of a big industrial looking area. You have a lot of freedom here. Kind of do what you want to do and try to make the games better and better. And, you know, you can tell it's a very formal and serious environment. Um, so everybody here has to get back to work. So I'll see you guys finish my cookie.